Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a first impression plus wear test of the new Pure Cosmetics Ugh, love your selfie foundation. This is a foundation with 100 shades. When this came out, I was like, hot damn, hot damn, 100 shades. Because wow, what a difference in where we have come from the Shape Tape fiasco to now the Pure Foundation. I feel like Fenty started a movement here. Launching the brand with 40 shades of foundation was absolutely massive and pretty unprecedented when it came to, I mean, a foundation launch, sure, but a makeup brand launch in general. Foundations aren't well known for having a very balanced shade range. And if they do have a lot of shades, a lot of times the undertones are just trash. I personally haven't tried the Morphe foundation that launched last year, I think with 50 shades. I've heard things about it from a bunch of different YouTubers and having a weird undertone with some of it, like a green shade. I feel like that's the thing with most foundations is that if they have a decent shade range, a lot of times their undertones are wonky. And if they don't have a decent shade, shade range, they're more common than anything. I think that this is the first of its kind, 100 shades, my God. It looks like it's also a very balanced shade range as well. It's not just 85 light shades and then 15 mediums with a couple of deeps tossed in there. It looks like it's pretty balanced and across the undertones. I haven't watched anyone's full review. I have seen people talk about this, like Pure posted on their Instagram, kind of a compilation of people testing it. I've seen that a lot of people are actually really liking this foundation. Foundation. I love Pure Cosmetics. I think they're a wonderful brand. The team is absolutely incredible. And I think that any step in the right direction is an amazing one. And I don't think it's too little too late, although I'm not really the one to speak on that. It has to be your personal experience with the brand and your personal opinions. I think that a lot of brands may see, you know, hey, this is what we need to be doing and going in that direction because it's, you know, the popular thing to do. But also as long as we are headed in the right direction for that, I feel like it is a win in all areas and pure I feel like has always been pretty inclusive with their shade ranges and so this is just another step in a great direction now a couple of things to note about this that I would imagine you're gonna come across when looking for your shade it may be difficult to find because there just are so many to choose from I haven't opened this box up yet to see kind of what they have in here I think a hundred is a lot of shades but I'm not gonna knock it because it's honestly so much better than having less shades to choose from. So in my opinion, I think it's amazing that they have really tried to include everyone in this spectrum. So they sent me three shades that they think may work for me. I think they're gonna be a little bit light. When brands look at me online and they see my skin, they think that I'm like a very, very fair with like porcelain, you know, super light ivory. I tend to gear more towards the light spectrum instead of the super fair because the lighter I go with my foundation, if I like match, my body, it can make my face look very dry. The lighter my foundation, the more it accentuates the dryness. I'm a very dry lady and I don't like to accentuate that. So I tend to go a little bit deeper in my foundations just because it seems to help me in that arena. It is currently 4.20 PM. I thought it was two right now. So looking at my clock just now was very surprising to me to see that. I'll be able to wear this tonight for about five, six hours. That's not a great wear test, but I'm gonna continue wearing it throughout the week. I'll be able to give you my first impression today and then I will continue testing this. So this foundation is unique in that they call it the Pure Cosmetic. Oh, look at this. Do you have an abundance of extra makeup? Donate any unused items from this mailing to Cosmetics for a Cause in Jupiter, Florida. That is so cool, Pure. Dang it, I love ya. I love you so much. This foundation is unique in that it is considered the four-in-one Love Your Selfie Long Wear Foundation and Concealer. So apparently in the bottle, it has a pump, you unscrew it, and it's a doe foot applicator because it works as both. I'm going to use it today as both, and I'm excited to see how it wears. How neat. In the PR mailer, they do send information. I'm gonna look through it and see what they talk about here. Natural skin-like finish, skincare infused to help protect against environmental stressors like pollution and high energy visible blue light. 100% true to you shades, blue light defense, serotonin complex, energy complex, vegan friendly, fragrance free. This sounds like it's right up my alley, baby. <laughs> right up my alley. 
They've got light, medium, tan, dark, and deep. The undertones that they've got in each different category are golden, pink, and neutral. It looks like they explain that in the mailer as well to explain what each of those mean. Shoot, this is really amazing. Pure is a cruelty-free brand. If they weren't, I wouldn't be talking about them. And they also, it looks like sent a brush. Did they send the brush? They did. This I saw this morning on Instagram actually, and this is the Beholder brush. Cruelty-free bristles, durable custom cut bristles for a smooth and even finish with a silicone core. Perfect to of firmness to distribute and blend product for any and all foundations. Oh, shit. I'm gonna try that out today on one side of my face and we'll see how it goes. They sent three in the large bottle, but then they also sent over every single other shade in a miniature. So if I can't find my shade in these three that they sent, then I'm just gonna kind of go through what they sent in the mini bottles and just test it out. So they sent me over LN3, which looks like light neutral three, LN2, and LN4. So this is the packaging right here. It is really, really nice. You've got the pump on the top, and then if you unscrew it right here, there is a doe foot applicator in there. That is pretty freaking innovative, dude. Completely smells like actually nothing, not even like sometimes a foundation can smell like paint. This smells like literally nothing. This shade might work for me, which is LN4, but I'm gonna kind of go through and see. It's kind of nice because it's obvious based on MN, MG, MP, you know what I mean? Like medium pink, medium gold, medium neutral. So right here, the swatches are LN1, LP1, and L. G1. So you really can see the difference in undertones with the neutral pink and golden. And then as you go down the line, it gets a little bit deeper in each category. This is MG6, MP6, and MN6. So golden, pink, neutral. TG5, TP5, and TN5. Sorry, I'm like doing these swatches terribly. This is the deep category. We've got DG6, DP6, and DN6. So it looks like in the pink undertone category, there is no seven in any of them. It's kind of confusing, but so right here, we've got DPG7, right here, we've got DPN7, and then this is DPP6. Oh, whoops, I got a little smudgy, but you can definitely see if I do turn my arm that there are different undertones in there. This is incredible. This is terrible swatching, I'm so sorry, but to keep into consideration that this is just 15 out of the 100 shades. There is a plethora of shades in here. I sort of just chose three in each category from each of the boxes that I have. But to keep in mind that there is a massive amount of shades in this collection, it is truly jaw dropping how inclusive this shade range really is. For a foundation like this, it's probably best if possible to actually go into the store and do swatches, check on your neck, kind of see how things go. I don't know exactly how you would match it. There might be a foundation shade matcher online. If there is, I will make sure to notate it somewhere so that you can see like, okay, well I'm this shade in this foundation, so what would that be the equivalent to in this? And I do think that probably is available. Also, I am sure somebody on the Pure team on social media would be more than happy to help you. Okay, I'm in the middle of editing this video and I just checked Pure's website and I obviously added it in here, but their foundation shade matcher online is incredible. It has literally every single brand that I've I mean, brands I've never even heard of. And you can go through, choose the brand, choose the foundation in there and what your shade normally is in that foundation, it'll match you. And it's been very accurate for me. If not exactly the foundation that I chose, very close to it to where it would be close enough. So that's amazing. I mean, that must have been so much work. Slow clap to you, Pure, for making a shade range that is not a joke, that is actually useful for pretty much everyone and that really covers an entire spectrum of different skin tones and undertones because undertones matter. And I really just think that from my perspective, I think it's a really, really amazing step and thankful that an amazing brand like Pure who does cruelty-free makeup, has vegan options, and who just all around is run by really great people is doing something that other brands will see being 
accepted positively and notate for their future launches. Should they have done it without having to see that other brands are doing it? Absolutely. So today I'm gonna be using the Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream to moisturize. This is what I use with every foundation so I know how it performs. I do feel like this is a very transformative moisturizer. If you have very dry skin like me, it can make foundations that normally would probably look too dry just look pretty good. So I'm gonna take a little bit of that, moisturize my whole face. If we're testing it on how I do my makeup every day, it's the Tasha. I do have a few blemishes on my face right now, so it'll be a perfect day to see how this covers. So first I'm gonna try the color they sent, which was LN4. If it's too light, I will take one of the sample shades, but I wanna see how this works. Oh, that's very light. So I'm gonna use the brush that they sent. So I'm gonna do nah, This color is pretty light, but it's, I mean, honestly, it's probably pretty accurate for me. So let's see how this blends. Ooh, that's ghostly, <laughs> ghostly. See the silicone part really isn't even touching my face unless I push really hard, which I don't really do. I tend to kind of buff gently. So because it's so buried down in there, I don't really feel it touching my skin. I don't think that's my shade. And because this isn't my shade, I don't want it to negatively affect my review. Any foundation that I wear in a shade like this, I usually end up not liking because I'm like, oh my God, it makes me look so textured and dry. Then I try a darker shade and I'm like, never mind. All right, let's see if the medium neutral four is more of a shade for me. Yeah, that's more of a shade I would actually use, I think. And honestly, the way that Pure did these, instead of sending all 100 full-size shades, which a lot of brands do, like say they launch 50 foundations, they'll send 50 full-size foundations, and obviously I'm only one to two of those shades, then we have to find a place for all of those foundations. So this is a lot better. All right, that's how much I'm gonna take for now. And instead of the Pure brush, I'm gonna use my favorite foundation brush, which is the IT Cosmetics Love is the Foundation brush. It's just amazing. Oh yeah, this is a much, much better shade for me. Ooh, see how immediately it looks better on me? It just makes me look a little more lively and awake and not so pale. The coverage is really nice and the finish, and maybe it is the Tatcha dewy skin cream underneath, but it does look nice and healthy. It doesn't look too dry or too matte. I'm gonna run it down my neck just so that the shade really blends down. Hmm, I like that coverage. Let's try it up on my forehead. My nose is the teller of tales. If it looks good on my nose, I generally like it. Well, so far so good with a brush, I really like it. Here's what the coverage looks like here. It doesn't look too matte, it doesn't look too cakey, it doesn't look anything like that. It just kind of looks like a nice, dewy, healthy second layer of skin. So I'm gonna try the same shade on the other side, but I'm going to use a beauty blender for that just to see what the coverage is like. I feel like it looks dewier and more full coverage with a brush. I'm liking the finish a lot better with a brush, so I'm gonna finish off my face with the brush because that's how I do my face almost every day anyway. It's the most accurate representation of how I'm actually going to wear my foundation. Yeah, the coverage with a brush is beautiful. Look at that. Will all be, will all be. 
All right, so off of very first impression, this looks really nice. It does look a little bit makeup-y in certain areas, but I feel like when I get the rest of my makeup on, it's going to look so good. It looks amazing on my nose. It looks really good on my forehead. The coverage is really lovely. The color is really nice. That's a pretty good color match for me. I probably could, mm, I like the neutral actually. I was thinking maybe I would wanna go with like the golden, but actually the more I look at it, I do feel like I'm more of a neutral ass bitch. So I am going to use the doe foot applicator in this because I'm gonna use this shade that they originally sent me for my full face as my concealer because this is a foundation and concealer. And so I'm going to take this out of here. And as you can tell, the inside of the tube, it sucks up right here through, but it also doubles as a wand. Look at that. What a cool idea, pure. Whoever came up with this? Rays. So I'm gonna use my beauty blender to blend this in. I feel like it works nicely as a concealer. Doesn't seem to be drying down too fast to work with either. It does seem like it has a decent working time on it. I've had this zit on my face for days. Go away. Okay, so I do feel like the finish of this is nice and skin-like. It is not too matte, like I said before. It does have a bit of luminosity to it, but it's not too shiny. Some foundations are like dewy. And while this definitely has some luminosity to it, it's not overkill. I don't look sweaty or anything, you know? Like it just looks like a foundation. It looks nice. I am going to take some of my Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder and set the areas of my face like this where I want to blend my bronzer and things like that on top of because I have been doing that lately and has really been making my makeup look a lot better throughout the day. It's lasting longer in those areas and I'm not getting any patchiness, which I feel like I was getting at times before because when I was blending over like a sticky foundation, it just didn't look as good and people were like, bet you look patchy. And I was like, okay, I no, stop. It does seem to be setting down a little bit, but it is staying relatively tacky, which I don't mind. So I'm really just setting my cheeks. I'm probably gonna set my under eyes a bit. Just really tap out the foundation slash concealer. I do feel like the coverage on my under eyes looks very good. This could probably be really good for makeup artists, working makeup artists, freelancers. Think about it. You have everything available to you. You can do some custom mixing so that you don't have to buy 100 shades, but you can buy like a few from each category. This is honestly, I think, in my opinion, and this is just me talking, probably the best shade range I've ever seen that feels very balanced in each category. It doesn't feel like there is and really much lacking at all. I really do think that they did a killer job, a killer job. I am going to turn the lights down so that you guys can see everything up close and personal and not blown out by studio lighting because that can be deceiving. So here is what my skin is looking like in turned down lighting. It looks so good. So good. I would call this full coverage, but I would say that you can build it as well. It doesn't seem like it's too high coverage where it's like, super mask-like, but it doesn't feel like it's too low coverage. But you can still see my skin imperfections peeking through, but it doesn't look like cakey or mask-like on my skin at all. It just looks like it blanked everything out and gave me a really good base to work off of. That's where we're at so far, and I am, I am in love. So I'm gonna do the rest of my face off camera, and then I will be back, and we will do a couple of check-ins throughout the evening as I am finishing filming this. It is 4.55 p.m., and we'll probably realistically go to bed like around 10.30 tonight, because that's really only like five and a half hours of wear time. I can say off of my very first impression at this point in my makeup, I think it looks absolutely beautiful, and I'm very, very impressed. All right, obviously my eyes are not done, but okay. Here's the thing about my skin right now. It has 
rarely looked this good. It looks just lovely. I feel like my skin looks so nice right off the bat. I used Fenty Beauty Shady Biz Bronzer on my face, loving this so much lately. I used the Lunar Beauty Moon Prism Powder in the shade Venus for my highlight. And instead of using my highlight brush that I normally use, I actually used the same brush that I went in for my bronzer, which I've been loving. This is the Eco Tools Precision Highlight Brush. And you know what? Really buffing this into the skin gave me a much more like natural glow from within finish. I feel like when I put this on the other day and I used the Sigma Tapered Highlighter Brush, it was really intense. And a lot of people were like, that looks very, very like textured on your skin. And I feel like it's not doing that today because I really buffed it in. Honestly, this is becoming one of my favorite brushes I've ever used. Hell, if I can find this online, Eco Tools, where, where is it? I don't know how to find this. I don't know what it was. It came in like a kit, I think, because it's got this little pink handle right here. Foundation is $36. It is one fluid ounce, which is very, very standard for foundation. 36, I feel like is very reasonable for a foundation, especially since it doubles as a concealer. So it's like you're saving money in that aspect. It looks like Ulta only carries 40 of the 100 shades. That's probably because the display for that would be absolutely insane. So if you are going to go get this foundation, I would probably recommend buying it from the Pure Cosmetics website. I will check in a little bit later throughout the day and show you guys how this is wearing. But right now, stunning. Okay, it is 11.15 p.m. same day. Let's look. Looks really good. Really good. We went on a walk for 45 minutes. We also did 35 minutes of yoga, but it has, you know, kind of gotten a little bit shinier throughout the evening. I feel like it looks nice. I would be happy with this. If I was like hanging out at my friend's house and I ran into the bathroom and I went to go look at my makeup, I don't know if I would really need to do any touch-ups or anything. I don't feel super makeup-y. I feel like it looks decent. Pretty average. It doesn't like look a billion times better than anything I've ever worn, but it does not look bad. And I'm very happy with the level of coverage and the level of wear after, what was it? That's like almost six and a half, seven hours. So not bad. I'm going to wear it again the next time I do makeup and we'll see how it goes. But off of my first impression, first day, I feel like it looks pretty good. It's about 9.30 AM. I just put on the foundation again. I'm going to test it all day long. I'm gonna to try to do 12 hour wear test. I think I can definitely get that out of it. I did not set my face with powder today at all, except for a teeny little bit on my under eye. I used it as a foundation and concealer today. It's got a nice luminosity to it. So far, so good. All right, I will see you in a few hours. Okay, it is 5.23 p.m. I've been wearing this now for eight hours, I believe. And here's what it's looking like after eight hours. Definitely gotten shinier on my forehead. It's not bad, but because I didn't use any sort of setting powder at all today, I can definitely notice a difference. The last time I did use a setting powder on like the perimeter of my face, and I'm not wearing bronzer or anything like that today, so it do definitely doesn't look as good because I don't have a full face of makeup on. But as you can tell, it looks a lot shinier. And don't pay attention to my eyeshadow, I was just, I was testing some things today, okay. Still there, still good coverage. I feel like I'm definitely really oily looking in my T-zone mostly. I'm gonna go directly into the sunlight and kind of change the light so you guys can see. So hopefully this lighting is all right for you guys to be able to see, but so far, so good. I feel like it looks pretty good. For eight hours, I actually feel like it looks pretty good. I don't feel cakey. I don't feel super makeup -y. I just kind of feel pretty average. Okay. It is 11.02 p.m. That means this has been on for about 13 and a half to 14 hours. And you guys can see what we are working with here. It looks pretty decent. I mean, I feel like it looks pretty good for like 14 hours wear. I cannot complain. It's still on, it's not too shiny. It definitely got shiny throughout the day. So what I would suggest for this, if you're very oily, definitely powder 
if you are like me and you're very dry, you may want to just powder certain areas. For me, I definitely would powder the perimeter so that I could have my really well blended out contour and highlight bronzer and everything. Um, but as far as it going without setting it with a powder at all, it still looks really good. It's still on. I definitely have some areas that rubbed off. I was wearing sunglasses. We went on like a 45 to an hour walk today and um, it was pretty warm outside and it still stayed on during that it stayed on during dinner it stayed on all day i was working i was touching my face i was doing eye makeup i would say if you want to pick it up try to get a sample of it if you can from ulta if they don't have your shade because they don't carry the full range then i would suggest buying it online and i would imagine you can either return it at ulta or return it online if it's not the right shade for you but the shade guide at least for me this shade that i've been using the same one that i tried initially perfect it's my perfect shade i mean it matches me so well i did do another wear of this foundation another day it did really well that day too so this is the third day of wearing it so i really like it i would definitely continue to wear it and i am going to buy a full size bottle in the shade that i have been using and i give it a two thumbs up really love it and i think pure did an amazing job well that is it for this foundation review i hope you guys like this video and that it was helpful for you and gave you the information that you were looking for please subscribe if you haven't yet i try to upload every monday wednesday friday if i can and i think i've been trying i think i kept on it this week you know hopefully <laughs> fingers crossed you guys can follow me on instagram and twitter if you also want to and that's that i thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you at my next video bye Hello. Uh -huh. This is a foundation. Foundation. This is a foundation, but that's a foundation. I feel like my. It's not focusing in my eyes, it's focusing in my face. It looks like they are. They are so are a ball shot raw. It looks like it also is a very balanced. Balanced. Kill me. You've got the pump on the top. So it's the most. It's the most accurate representation. I used the fancy, fancy, fancy beauty.